Let's talk not physical, not physical. Let's talk not physical. Let's talk not physical. Let us have some spirit talk. Some spirit talk. Let us have some spirit talk. Well, I'm going to say it here now uh, that I told you on the phone that one thing that can help you if you have uh, future encounters with some something that looks ugly or like a monster yeah. is to try to visualize them being awake mm -hmm. trying to bring those images because when when you when you're awake and practice the meditation then you can you can have more control you can yeah. see those let's say I, I for example try because i don't do it that often to bring uh, monsters but so uh, there is. i was talking oh my um, i was talking about something that i told chris on the phone that can help if if he sees monster again monsters again that you can practice that that in visualizations that you can <laughs> try to see monsters and then <clears throat> For example, yeah. lately, if I sometimes I bring monsters and I make them smile, mm -hmm. so that that way you can lose the fear because you have some control. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and also, even though it's uh, unusual, you can try one day to get to try to get more monsters, more and more and more and more, and they can come very fast and they can come in all different shapes and colors, and it can be too much. Yeah. But if you're not scared, I mean, that's a good control that you can get bombarded by by yeah, what they I look actually, like, evil spirits. My, my, my question was, then, yeah. my question then is, is what I saw just all, it's not real, it's just an image? Like, that's what I'm trying to say. It, it, like, to me, it's like, it has to be it's, this it, real thing. It's real in the sense, <laughs> in the sense that, you know, it, in that it's you know part of the non-physical substance you know i mean i don't think it i don't think it was uh it's real i mean it's just it's just that it's not um it's not going to kill you it's because it's non-physical substance it's not of the same level of substance <clears throat> that would normally i mean I, I the way i see it is uh, actually real is a word that sometimes is is not the best word to use <laughs> I mean, in my philosophy, everything that is information, it, it exists. We, you can say it's real. Because dreams, the content of the dreams are information. You, you guys agree? Okay, the so, con okay. The you, know content of dreams. Saying, you know how you were saying, or you were telling us to visualize an apple? Mm -hmm. Would you say that that apple is real? at that time and point when we were imagining it? Well, you can see it that way because the apple is information because uh, well, how I define information, the minimum information is a difference. Something lighter than something else that is not as light, that's a difference. Mm. So when you close your eyes, you're gonna get some information because if it's not pure black, if you have something and it's not pure black, that's a differ uh, differentiation. I mean, there is a difference. So that means there is information there. Mm. So, so dreams are information. Meditation, you get information. The, the, the thing is that to, when you say, is that real or not real? One thing you can do is also, if is it coming from me or is it not coming from me? Some, sometimes you cannot tell, but usually, I think I think the recommendation is that assume that it's not coming from you. Because anyway, you get connected and you see an entity. Why, why does it have to come from you if you didn't want it? <clears throat> let's, let's say I get suddenly I get something. It, it may come from my subconsciousness, but from my subconscious. But wh why should I assume that it can also come from source? The thing is that if you see something if you see an entity one thing you can try is try to communicate usually if it's not uh, an entity with free will i mean a, a real entity a real being let's say usually they're not going to respond or they're going to respond in a way that looks stupid 
like uh, or, or it looks actually like a response from a bot you see when you when you are in a chat and the response yeah, from a bot it's a Turing test yes yeah it's kind of like a Turing test so i mean i mean sometimes you, you have to do that to really tell if it's, it's a real being or not yeah. i mean that's the crazy part cuz it's like <clears throat> the mos i could see everything like it's real life like i would see you Clyde. i would see every hair on your head i would see the ring you know everything the glasses you're wearing the, the shine off of your off of the glasses like <clears throat> it was so detailed and real that i i'm like i can't deny that that's not a real entity in front of me and then when you said to do the test i did ask the <clears throat> the demon like why are you doing this to me it didn't answer it didn't talk to well me. that that's that's uh, even though it can give you it cannot give you certainty but I, I would say it's more likely not a real a real being, not a a, a being oh, okay. with free will. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, let me ask you this, Chris. Um, did have you ever drawn? Have you ever made any paintings of of any of these monsters? No, 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 not of it. Are you afraid that by painting them they become real? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I've never. I, I like to draw beautiful things <laughs> or paint beautiful and the, things. And the reason I ask is, is because I feel like if we had like, not not us, but if but if people knew what something looked like, they'd be like, oh, I know exactly what that is kind of thing. You know, they'd be like, oh, that's a Mexican such and such from, you know, from this religion. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me tell you something you can do. Some people can do. I can think of a clown, right? I can think of a scary clown. I can go meditate and maybe I'm successful. I can send that clown to you guys. And you might see that clown and it, it might be because uh, I started that. Okay, go for it. The, uh, Bob, no, no. <laughs> Bob Manry talk, talks about that saying thought forms, I think, right? Yeah. Thought forms. So people, I mean, you can create forms and then. So I, I have. I have interacted with what I would call demons, but they didn't look like monsters. They were more like astral inhabitants that had spent way too much time in the astral. And so they had become like very powerful in manipulating other people. So it was more, so it was less of being a monster and more of just being like a, a narcissist maybe. So oh. that's the way I saw it. As, you know, yeah. Now, it could be that the demons that you were seeing could be sort of manifested and or and or maintained by the energy of the people that worship them or you know what i'm saying like they're they're sort of powered by the energy of the collective thoughts of people who I, i've them. heard of that too where that demon <clears throat> it could completely be made up because a certain collective and they're constantly imagining constantly give it energy and power that in a way it becomes its own thing right so yeah, yeah i've heard of that yeah, yeah. so it, but it, <clears throat> you know look i mean <clears throat> yeah i'm not, I'm not denying these so i'm unlike claudia i'm not denying the existence of demons i just simply think of it as like such a small portion of all that is it's kind of like what you get stuck with because of particular re, you know karmic or past life or whatever, but it's not something you have to normally deal with day to day when you're exploring the spiritual realm. It's more of um, you know, an occasional thing that you may have to run into because of something that you need to work through. Yeah, I think it's all about the lens or the frequency you're in. Yes, right? Cause yes, I've, yes. Because I've, I've heard of I've heard of a story. I don't know. You probably heard of it, too, where there's this guy that was being interviewed and he was in the military. Uh, and they are they're the people piloting the helicopters <clears throat> and he told a story about everybody who used to wear night vision goggles it used to be red not green right and there there's there was this particular time when they were going through the islands or wherever they were and then this guy starts shooting at something but there's nothing there but to him he he saw a demon flying in the sky <clears throat> Yeah, now, awesome. when they fixed it from red to green, they didn't see demons anymore. <laughs> That's no, 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 no. The, the, my point is like because it's in that red perspective, and 
you know, in the yoga belief, it's like the, the red is like the sacral, right? The oh, most primal, right? That, that, that color kind of, it induced this frequency in his brain to see that whatever no, that was sense. in the sky, right? Yeah. So I feel like, because when I saw the demon too, it was really red. <clears throat> Even the background was red. By the right? way, this so, gives me, this, by the way, this gives me a really interesting idea. Remember how earlier I was telling Claudio to try like a tone to see how it affected his vision? And once again, <clears throat> this is saying I'll just try myself, is I'm wondering if when I close my eyes, because black is the default, that's the frequency I'm at is the so-called black channel. But maybe if I stare at a white wall, maybe I'll get something different. Or if I stare at a <clears throat> red wall, maybe I'll get something different. Like maybe we can tune the channels by by focusing on a particular color. I, I'm just throwing it right. well, Michael, take, take this into account. I, I've been visualizing by having the TV on in YouTube uh, and listening to some video. Oh, it I see. So you're... It doesn't actually change anything. So, okay, okay. What you're saying is you're, you're experiencing your visualizations, music, words, whatever is going on, and, not, and it's basically completely independent. Right, you, you can, it doesn't, it, it doesn't need to change anything. It doesn't need to change much. Okay. <clears throat> it's not as easy for me to start, I think, right away by listening to a video, but I should try more. Maybe I- What about I, music? Oh, with music, I, I, I think is I, I've done it with music. Yeah, it's easier. Does the music affect anything like, like for you or no? I wouldn't say, I, I mean, it improves or, or not. I think it's about the same. Have you, have well, you guys ever, But have, anyway, have, I mean, you guys ever it might be different of... from other, uh, between among people and you can try. I mean, maybe in your case, you, you see a difference. Mm -hmm. Because I don't notice much difference. It doesn't mean that somebody else might notice a difference. Mm -hmm. Have you guys tried have you ever guys heard of scrying? No, not me. Uh, scrying is. Wait. Oh, there, there it is. There, there it is. <laughs> right. So, there was a lot of experiments. I, I forgot. I forgot what his name was. Uh, he took a bunch of kids from university and he asked them, like, "Hey, do you want to get involved with this experiment where you?" Raymond just, Moody. You, this the um the experiment. oh yes that's the guy yep that's the guy okay. yeah and um they would have him all look into the mirror and i think he he, he put this black tint on on it right hmm. yeah and then they would all look into it and 50 uh, i think it was yeah 40 percent would not really see anything because they're not in the, the the mood or the frequency right but 60 60 percent of them they all saw a spirit come out or a face come out of the the mirror so That's, i'm glad you brought that up because it's funny i just saw a raymond moody interview uh by my friends and um and it's i'm glad that you made the connection because that gives a gives an idea right which is look into a mirror and, and try it and see what happens you know like yeah. maybe the mirror might have some I know, I know, like when people talk about looking for their auras, they tell you to look in a mirror to see if you can see your own aura in the mirror. I don't know. Yeah, we should try. You know what I was just thinking when you said about music? What if one day we tried the music from The Lion King? <laughs> the three of us, I see, maybe we see The Lion King, maybe we see animals from Africa. Why not? Well, we can oh try different. God. We can try different genres. But, but musics that yeah. are clearly related to something, you know, easy to to visualize, right? Yo, my my astral body is gonna turn into a monkey. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna be like, why am I all furry all of a sudden? Well, you can get a banana next to you just in case. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be chased by a lion. I'm gonna be like, turn off the music. No, but really, I, I'm serious. I, mean, I think we should try something like that. <clears throat> yeah. But it, but but I do believe and maybe you can contradict me Claudia that 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 like, you were saying that when you're in the car and you listen to really cool music it kind of quote unquote raises your vibrations, right? It makes you more, you know, in tune perhaps with your loved ones on the other side. 
So I was just wondering if you've done the same thing with the visualization, where you listen to nice music and, and then it changes your... The thing is, usually when I drive, I don't practice that. You you should know why, right? No, 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 no. But what I want you to do is do your visualization so when you're not driving and listen to the cool music. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that you should do too is that what do they call it driving while under the influence of non-physical yeah driving no, 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 while claudio. under the med meditation influence <laughs> no claudio you should right before you drive put on that that face mask or the oh, eye yeah. mask. <laughs> if if i am alive uh, after 10 minutes of driving i'm a hero <laughs> no but honestly oh, i i try I try with this. You know there is an audience out there, right? You realize? This? Hello, people. Hundreds of thousands. They say of hi to the people who are watching. Hi. Oh. Say hi. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I do. I go like this. Yeah. Hold on. And I try to walk in my place, and I I see some <laughs> sometimes the the energy of the walls uh, in in their place. So kind of like I might see something related to the physical, mm. but That's I'm, great. I'm not super good. I, mean, I don't get a lot. Well, if you can get good at it, then you could win the James Randi Prize. We were. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, there is a uh, there are there are some videos on YouTube that people practice that they close their eyes and they can see, they can move around, they can play games and stuff, especially kids. Yeah, maybe they're more open-minded. Or... <laughs> no, they, they if, if they practice that and they, they might develop that. 